close your eyes and picture your core desire. What you really, really, really want out of life. And this was spent 10 years later, 20 years later, something that you think you perhaps still want in those times. Really close your eyes and think, what does that ideal future look like? What do you really desire right now? When I close my eyes, I think of a family of five. I'm standing here and my beautiful wife is kind of taking care of two children on her own. And she's lovingly attending to them even though they're kind of annoying and all over her. And then I have my arm around my little son's shoulder as I'm smiling over at my wife and I'm so grateful for her. And I look charismatic. I have a fucking sexy ass body. I'm kind of wearing smart casual. We're surrounded by grass. And there's a beautiful modern house at the back. Kind of by the coast. And I look at my face and it's filled with contentment and gratitude. That's my purpose. That's the thought that melts my heart. And kind of relaxes my chest. But also sparks up my brain. And I'm, I get kind of shaky. Why don't I have that? You know, like I can feel, I have goosebumps right now just thinking about it. And you know what I need to achieve that visualization? I need to have a good attitude, financial freedom, mindfulness, charisma. I want to be a fucking amazing father. And I want to find a wonderful girl that could have my children. There's also something called purpose layers, which Hamza talks about. So for example, assuming that would be my core desire, the different purpose layers would be, how can I achieve my financial freedom? YouTube is one of these ways. Another purpose I have is leadership. I close my eyes and I also picture me standing in front of a crowd of people. It's not a huge amount of people, but maybe a bit more than a hundred people. And they all have their arms in the air while I'm speaking to them with aggression and excitement for the future. That's another vision I have. Leadership and the ability to inspire. And that's part of my purpose layer. That's the kind of man I want to be, to raise wonderful children and to have a wonderful wife. So that's another one of my purpose. Have a wonderful physique, be adept in social confrontation, especially with talking to girls, be well-spoken, well read, well learned, so I can educate my children. These are all layers of purpose to my core desire. If you feel directionless, empty, hollow, and you're walking to nothing in life, you're kind of just passing time. You should really consider what is your core desire right now. It might be something like you close your eyes and you visualize yourself collecting best academics results. Imagine walking up that stage and everyone's looking at you, that once loser, that video game player, or that jock or that dumbass who suddenly got the best academics award. You scored the best in your whole cohort despite once being seen as that absolute retard. Or you picture yourself with a happy family and maybe right now your family situation is incredibly toxic and you picture your parents being supportive, your siblings being loving, and them embracing you and smiling. Or maybe it's the gym right now and you picture yourself with a completely beautiful aesthetic physique. And you get all gay about yourself, you look in the mirror and you get rock hard. No matter what your purpose is, it should be so strong that it fulfills you and you, you get so jumpy about it like you, fuck, why don't I have that right now? Purpose is so, so important. Purpose gives reason to your discipline. It helps you maintain identity. Even if the world throws its most hurtful punch at you. You can continue doing what you need to and you can continue treating people gently and lovingly because that's the man you have to be or whatever your ideals are. It'll help you perform better at the things you care about. It'll reorient your life so you actually know where you're moving next rather than mindlessly navigating, feeling depressed and lonely all the time. Find your purpose and hold on to it. Dedicate everything in your life into it. From your diet, from your habits, from how you wake up, from how you speak, from how everything you need to do, everything you should do should be optimized to the T, to your best extent. That's what your focus should be on right now. That's what the purpose is for. And it'll feel absolutely beautiful. You won't have any capacity to worry about petty concerns like social anxiety. Many of your fears will be lifted because you're so focused on this purpose. You're willing to sacrifice so much and you become powerful. You become competent as fuck because you're chasing this relentlessly because it's something you want so bad. And don't get me wrong, purposes change. You might make so much progress in this one purpose and then when you get to a decent level, suddenly it isn't important anymore. Don't get me wrong, it changes. But until then, it's not going to change. If that makes any sense. Then you may ask, what's the purpose of doing it then if it's going to change? Why not? Because it's better to sit around and consume media all day. Because it's better to be distracted and mindless. There's no reason why not accept the friction and the self-induced hard work that you have to put in. Is the purpose worth the hard work? It's up to you to find out. You either dedicate yourself to it or you don't. 
I don't really care. But it's how I choose to live my life. Because as Gwen Stacy would say, what better way is there to live? To better world.